PhotoMaker 2 is out and it's pretty amazing. Today I'm going to show you how to install that with just two clicks. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Let's get started right away. So in case you don't know what PhotoMaker is, it came out about half a year ago with version 1. It takes a photo as an input or even multiple photos and then you can put yourself or any kind of person in any kind of situation. By the way, wink wink, this is not a censored model. So, well, um, let your fantasy play. Anyways, you can install this and this is actually the version one is supported by different UIs, of course, also Conf UI, but version two is not supported as of yet. I will show you today how to install it locally anyways in the easiest way possible. My friends, no technical skill needed. You only need to click some buttons and the buttons that need to be clicked are inside of Pinocchio because Pinocchio makes things super easy. If you start the program here, you have an overview of what you have already installed. And when you want to install something new, you click here on discover and there you can already see PhotoMaker 2 is up here as one of the new toys you can play with. If you don't see it here, you can use here the search to look for PhotoMaker. Just make sure that it is PhotoMaker 2 that you're installing. So you click on that and then you click on install and it's doing the install for you. It's downloading everything for you, including the PhotoMaker 2 model. This is nice because usually you have to go through the internet and then find out where the folders are and all this kind of stuff. No, you don't have to do it here. It's done for you. When it's done, it's installed here and you can go here and then you have here a start button, which you can't see right now because my version is already running. You have here a terminal that will show you what is going on. You see here connected and then the UI is running inside of Pinocchio if you want that, which is super nice that you don't even need a browser to run this, but you can also click here on pop out and then it's going to open up in your browser, which might be more comfortable. You might feel more at home with that. And it looks like this. If you open it up, it looks like the web demo, which is pretty cool. You can actually scroll down and have here two examples. One is with Scarlett Johansson and four of her images. And then also we have images of Newton with the prompt, with the steps, everything set up for you. There is no style selected for you. You can do that on your own. And when you scroll up, you see here the images are automatically loaded for you. That is pretty amazing. Then you can write here a prompt if you want to change that. You can select here from the style menu. There's a lot of stuff in here actually like cinematic, photographic, fantasy art, comic book, line art, low poly. Play around with that. It's all amazing. It's all really beautiful. It's all very simple. All right. Below that you have a ratio which has a lot of different choices. Even cinema scope with 2.39 by 1. That is wide. Um, it's wide and it's wild, my friends. Below that, you have the submit button, which is basically the render button. This will start the process. And then you even have here a doodle control. So you can actually draw something if you would like to do. And below that, you have advanced options. You might have to pop that out. So it's opening up where you find your negative prompt. You have here the sample steps. Now you want to look at the sample steps because if you load the Scarlett Johansson uh, example, it is starting out with 50 steps. That's quite a lot. Uh, you can bring this down to 20 if you want to. The result might be not as good. The face is going to look well, but the different other areas of the image might not look as well, like the hair or there's a crown or helmet or something. It might melt with the skin, things like that. So play around with the steps here. You have also the style strength. You have the number of images, the guidance scale and the seat, which is set to randomize. And then just go and play. That's everything you have to do. This is how easy that is. Now, as I promised you, there is also a version one that you can run in ComfUI right now. It's not as sophisticated, not quite as good, but it runs right now in ComfUI. So that's the benefit for that. And the good thing is for that, you uh, can use the native notes for that, which is pretty cool. Uh, so just look for PhotoMaker inside of ComfUI. Uh, there should be a loader and then there should be also this kind of PhotoMaker encode 
or Encode Plus. I think Encode Plus comes from a different pack, to be honest, but the normal Encode looks exactly the same. It does exactly the same thing. There's no difference. The only difference here is that this has a trigger word, which I'm not sure if it's needed because I did literally didn't see any difference. The rest is basically the same. You just have text to image and then over here, in this case, we have Taylor Swift. I loaded three different images. And then what I did here, now this here is a little bit of a special thing I did. Um, it is a prep image for clip vision. What this does is basically it crops the image. You can select from what kind of position it should be cropping. And then I have here a batch image node, which for some reason only batches two images. So I used multiple of them together. So I get three images in total. And then over here, you can see my result, which is okay. It's not 100% Taylor Swift, but it's a little bit Swifty. So I would say it's not too bad. It's good uh, for free. I take it. And for the settings, I found that the DDIM sampler is good from the speed and gives me also good results with the schedule on normal. I set it to 35 steps because the higher step for the photo maker gives better results, gives some more details, but you can certainly try out with lower steps to get away with a little bit less render time. And that's basically it. That's how easy that is. That's how fun all of that is. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like. That's really important to me. And also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more like that. And then, yeah, see you in my next video. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.